Hey guys, Sprague here. Welcome back to day 56 of the Gold Cap Challenge. Now, I have some bad news. Well, bad news for me. You guys probably don't care. But, yeah. <laughs> the guild transfer didn't go through because I needed an authenticator on my account for a week. Now, I have an authenticator on my EU account, but not on my US account. Very annoying. So basically, we're just going to have to wait a week. I've put it on but we're going to have to wait a week until I can do that. So it kind of means I can't do much on my US account. All my gold's invested in items. All my bank slots are full. You know, I've got nothing on the auction now, so I had to take it all off. It's not ideal, but we'll just do some stuff on the EU, make some gold, and look forward to that in a week's time. Okay, so it turns out I may actually be able to get some gold this week after all. There has been a bot ban wave. You can check on any of the forums. You can check on the WoW Economy Reddit. And yet yeah, it's been happening. What does this mean? Well, it means the prices of all the gathered materials are going to go up. I'm not sure of the extent of the wave. We'll have to see. It will only be sort of visible in the next couple of days when the stock is sold off and people want to buy more stuff at the weekend and the bots aren't farming it and that's when everything goes up so we'll wait for the weekend to see what the prices are saying but yeah things are looking pretty good for me considering I've got what have I got 140,000 Starlight Rose and if they can double on my realm, I won't even have to transfer server, I can just sell them on this realm. And then buy them again when they get cheaper and then transfer server and then make even more gold. Such an exciting time. Well, yeah, anyway, we'll see how this goes, but if the prices shoot up, I'm obviously going to start selling because that's just free gold. It's very lucky this happened, to be honest right before I, look, I bought for an average of 15 gold my Starlight Rose and the price could easily double if the uh, band wave is big enough so yeah we'll see what happens really now the only problem is there is no raid again for another month or two probably like two months so that's gonna make things a little bit harder there'll be less people buying mats etc but still everyone gets potions and flasks and everything for progression heroic people starting mythic obviously mythic plus dungeons and anything else such as the mage tower artifact appearance quest etc so things should still be selling and yeah we'll see what happens so the legion invasions are up always good for alt leveling so just do this on a few chars. I'm trying to get as many people to 110 as possible. If you guys saw my video on farming 16 times the Astral Cloud Serpent, I want to turn that into 40 times. All I need for that is to get 20 characters to 110, or close to 110. Oh, I'm dead. And then I, yeah, I farm it on Tuesday, I farm it on Wednesday. 20 times each, that's 40 attempts. That's almost like a half chance that I'll get them out. A 40% chance. I don't even know if it's 1%. It might be 2%. Which means I probably will get them out. Which is awesome. So I'm going to be doing that as a video eventually. Just leveling up some characters. It's also good, especially in Legion, to have a load of characters because professions are so good. If you can cover all the main professions, you're going to have a good time. But yeah, and some sad news today. Blizzard have kind of stopped the World Quest Group Finder add-on. Or at least made some big changes to it. So, yeah, basically it means the add-on has to update itself. And there's this thing on Reddit saying how the add-on developers don't want to update it. Like, they can't be bothered. So, it's a worrying time for people who use the add-on like me because it's really really useful and if they're not going to update it to combat the new changes by Blizzard then it's not going to work anymore 
Look at that, an error has occurred when trying to create a new group. Sad times. In other news, I know I was talking about a possible band wave earlier. Other people have been saying that maybe it's not a band wave, it was just a couple of bands. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have any further ideas, let me know. But prices haven't been changing too much, so I'm not sure whether it's just a couple or like a few more than usual bands or it is an actual band wave because they're very different things bands happen when players report other players and blizzard look into it and ban them a band wave is when blizzard's sort of technology detects a load of accounts they're using software and then just ban them all and that's the one we want if we want better prices for all the trade goods so we'll see we'll see what happens so i don't know what's happening on your servers guys but here the Starlight Rose market has indeed been reset. Now it looks like someone tried to reset it to above 30 then got undercut to high 20s and it's now around 26.50 which is still like double what I bought it for. On average I bought for about 15. So yeah, interesting. Interesting. I don't really know what to do. I may try and sell some of my stock because I'll be making a good profit then like I said I can just buy it back when it goes down and still make a profit on the transfer so this is like free profit basically because of this whole ban wave not ban wave whatever it is I'm not sure but yeah we'll see today I sold one of my crashing thrashing killdozer toys for 16k which is really cool. I've got an absolute ton of these on the EU. Now I buy them when I do the... Well, the only place you can buy them is during the Winter's Veil event. And yeah, I got a load. They're really easy to get, really cheap. And yeah, they now sell for a really nice amount of gold. I also got all these items during the Winter's Veil. Okay, these sell for nothing. These sell okay for 3k. Look at these selling for 40,000 gold on my round, the Rapid Mines. I'm going to sell a few of those. And the Grumpus are oh, going for 64k. Might sell one of them as well. Sell six of them. Sell, so uh, we won't sell any of them yet. All the Spring Striders, I just bought them because the event finished a couple of days ago, whenever. So bought them all for around 15k and yeah they should be worth a lot more in a few months time. Just checking on my pets we got a mechanical Pandaren Dragonling which sold for 11k. Also sold a Swift Lovebird but it's not really a pet but I'm selling it anyway. On the US just sold my Ethereal Soul Trader for 80k. Bought it for around 50 Maybe even 40 actually, I can't really remember. Pretty sure I got this really cheap though, so that's about double my goal, which is really nice. Also meant I could buy the WoW token. So can get ready for the big transfer whenever the cooldown for the authenticator comes off. Just sold a Nightmare Welpling for 36k. I bought for about 10k. This is really cheap on some realms, but then really expensive on others. It's a bit weird. The Spawnling as well, just got for 38k sold. Again, bought it for about 20, something like that. So a quick update on the Starlight Rose. Uh, a few of them sold, and the rest got undercut, but not by anything major, just by a few silver. So it seems the price has stabilized at around 2650. Let's call that 2645. So yeah, things are looking up. I think these will probably sell overnight because as you know, it's only the morning in the US or lunchtime, so yeah, it's a bit annoying the fact that I'm so far ahead because I live in the UK. But that's fine yeah I think we should make some decent profit from this like if these sell I'll try and put the rest of my rows up well 
maybe not the rest because I've got so much but I'll put quite a lot up and see if I can sell because this is basically just free gold at this point like I've said before I can't transfer for a few days anyway so might as well make the most of the kind of rise in prices on my server so let me know if you guys are seeing similar results I don't really no, because like I said, I don't really think this is a big BAM wave. I really haven't heard much about it. But the prices are definitely rising. Like, look, even this flask of Whispered Packs, it's about 300 gold. I bought it for 220 gold. I got 500 of them for 220. So, yeah, prices are definitely going up, but we will see look my starlight rose already starting to sell so yeah hopefully i'll make a bit of gold through this also i hope you guys liked my story about me getting banned for running a casino in mop so check that video out if you haven't i kind of liked making that i hope you guys kind of liked it i've got a few more interesting gold related stories i can tell been playing this game for a while so I have got some interesting stuff and yeah if you like it please let me know thanks to everyone who commented on that that's probably going to be it guys I haven't really played much today but I made some auctions reposted some stuff and yeah we'll see what happens it's a bit of a weird situation at the moment because I'm doing so much on US and EU it's quite difficult. I'm concentrating more on EU, though obviously the challenge is on US, so it's kind of hard to do both. But if my profits keep on going the way they are, in terms of the Starlight Rose, and once I am able to transfer server, I reckon we're going to be close to the 10 mil, because I literally invested over 4 million and... If I can make double my gold, which is what I'm aiming for, then that's 8 million, already got a load in the bank, a load of other stuff, so we may well reach our target sooner than expected, which is cool. So thanks for watching guys, and until next time, see ya!